Hello YouTube, D-Deckin here, and as cold as it's been getting outside lately, is it weird? Like, is it weird that I'm kind of excited for tomorrow? Because tomorrow is supposed to be 55 degrees, a low of 55 degrees, but also raining. Like, any time of the year, that sounds like a scary combination, but tomorrow it sounds amazing. Uh, any case, speaking of unexpected surprises, hey look, a Pick a Gift campaign! It's been like, what, six weeks since we last had one of you? Um, but first, what is the Pick a Gift campaign? Let's get that out of the way first. The Pick a Gift campaign is every day when you log in, you get to choose between one to three items. You pick one to keep, and the other two are discarded. You don't get them. The idea behind this event is for you to pick the items you think are best for you. Some are great, some are meh, but that is for you to decide. And that, of course, is the Pick a Gift campaign. Now, again, it's been six weeks, we, the last pick a gift started at the very tail end of October, and ironically, this pick a gift, in terms of its format and layout, it's more reminiscent of the beginning of October pick a gift. And you can tell that from day 8 having uh, super rare jewels, super rare jewels, as well as the 50 gems, 3 day 50 gems gems, 3 day, oh gosh, <laughs> 3 day, 3 day 50, 50 gem gems. I'm just gonna keep muttering about that, uh. The three days of gems. The, the three days of gemness. <laughs> oh, that is a bad joke. I'm going to keep this one because that sounds fun. Now, in terms of what pick a gift this is, uh, it's not exactly like ending on Christmas. It's ending on the 21st, which is the winter solstice. And I can probably get more views if I call it the winter, the Christmas pick a gift, but I don't want to. This is officially the 2019 winter solstice. Fight me on that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> uh, but that said, there's a lot I want to talk about this pick a gift, but there's also not a lot I want to talk about. Like, this is... In terms of pick a gifts that have been coming out, it's very bare bone, very basic. Like, the only real difference change up is instead of the old recycle cards that we've had last pick a gift, we got a new rotation of cards. And... But each of these cards have been, uh... Like, new cards added to the list. Like, no, no. This... The, all these cards have been the pick a gift before. Like, maybe next pick a gift we might get some in the next year we might have new cards, but I'll talk about that in a sec. But all these cards have been the pick a gift before, and I guess they all have their sort of niche of why they're here. Like, starting from the bottom up, because, you know, why not? Violon Delta. Violon Delta in here is just a reminder that from Vi the Violon Prism we got re lately, like, it's just Violon support for the sake of, hey, Violon support exists. Like, it's a nice card. Like, you, like, taking Violon Prism, for example. Combine Violon Prism with a level 3, you make this card for, I don't know what reason. It turns this thing into a 27 beater, or it, or you summon a defense mode and you get a searcher. Like, it's alright. It, it's an alright card. I have my copies, I don't need more. That's fine. Next up, Genix Ally Chemistry. Chemistry? Chemistry? Not sure exactly how this is pronounced. Uh... You discard it, you change the attribute of a Gen X monster on the field, which I guess is to tempt people into invoked Gen X. Like, I, I, I don't actually know. Like, is invoke Gen X a thing? Like, invoke can go into almost anything, but is, is it meant to go in Gen X? Like, like, that makes no sense, but I'm curious at the same time. Uh... Rambling aside, then there's anti-fusion device. Now, I just got done talking about invoked, but I'm going to talk about it again because I think this is meant for like new. I think introducing, reintroducing anti-fusion device is meant for new players to have an out to invoked. Because let's face it, this card can destroy a fusion monster, and it doesn't target. Like that's pretty good. The problem is, Kokaitis, Kokaitis is getting hit, but this does nothing to Kokaitis. Uh. Because Kokaitis' two biggest strengths are, not including his defense, but his two biggest strengths are the fact that it can't be targeted and it can't be destroyed by battle. And again, Anti-Fusion Device does not target. That's what's awesome about this card. Like, you just flip the thing up, and even if there is, and even if, like, Fusion Monsters change around, bam, you still pop a Fusion Monster. It does not target. That said, Kokaitis can't be destroyed by card effects. This is a card effect. This destroys. Like... This does nothing to Kokaitis. Sad as that is. But, ah, uh, the last card I want to talk about is Relink Creepo. And, 
soon as I can click on it. Uh, <laughs> and this is actually kind of the interesting one. Like when it first came out, like the biggest use of it was for Relinquish, you know, level one ritual monster. Because when this card is tributed, you draw a card. Tribute it for a ritual summon, bam, draw a card. Not to mention its grave effect where if a monster will be destroyed by battle, you can just banish the thing instead. So hey, Relinquish without if, without its equip material, you banish it, you save it, awesome. And off the top of my head, the first thing I think of is Neos. Like you throw this in with Neos, it's you have a Neos now has a battle protection instead of an Omni protection instead of with a fusion spell card. But that said, I think this is actually here for another reason. I think this is actually here for Cyber Angel support. As weird as that sounds, because in the recent event for Alexis, she got Cyber Tutupan, and Cyber Tutupan is a level five warrior, level five warrior, which doesn't really work with level six and level eight like cyber angels like it works with level 10 but only if you have two and if not you need like machine angel ritual and machine angel ritual is been up and down of how often it uh it goes on the ban list not to mention two if you tribute two to bond you can recover machine angel ritual so that said i think i think really Kribo is meant to be the level one they're they're trying to promote it to promote Cyber Angels to be like, hey, here's a level one monster you can tribute alongside your Cyber Tutuban. And not to mention, you tribute it, you draw a card. Hey, look, that's awesome. And it's meant to go along with level six rituals, which makes sense. Not to mention, if you have Machine Absolute Ritual, Cyber Tutuban in your graveyard, and this card in your hand, or on the field, whichever you prefer, bam, you tribute this thing, Cyber Tutuban goes back in your deck, you tribute this thing, you summon the level six, and then, hey, look, Cyber Tutuban, Cyber Tutuban is back in your deck, and free to the Karibo, you can draw a card. I think that's the point. Don't quote me. But whether or not I need more copies of it, I don't know. I already have one, and I'm not planning to use it in Cyber Angels. I'm just saying it could be used in Cyber Angels, but whether it will or not, I'm not sure. But that said, not really much more I want to talk about this pick gift in terms of what's there, but I do want to talk quickly about whether or not we're going to get a new year's pick a gift like again this is cutting off right on the 21st so it's not exactly a new year's pick a gift but last year in december we got a new year's pick a gift and the first pick a gift we ever got was a new year's pick a gift so is this supposed to be the new year's pick a gift are we getting one right on the last week of december like i don't know the, this one and the one before it was six this pick a gift and the one pick a gift before it was six weeks apart so are we getting a New Year's pick gift? That's my question. What do you think in the comments? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. <sighs> Hopefully my rambling wasn't too long. And I don't know. What do you think of this pick gift? Just let me know and have a good night.